If your hair is on fire, you ought to act like your hair is on fire. You don't sit cool, calm, and collected if your hair is on fire. Everybody in the womb will know that your hair is on fire. Well, I am just so pleased to be talking once again to one of my favorite people in America, Nina Turner, who is running for Congress in Ohio in the 11th District. We're talking today about poverty as a policy choice. You've talked about this. What do you mean by that? What I mean by poverty being a policy choice is that we know that we have systemic failures. One very germane example is the child tax credit. Having that be available to parents lifted almost 50% of our children in this country out of poverty. And just like that, because of foolishness and mayhem, it is gone. And those very children are catapulted back into poverty. Imagine if we made the child tax credit permanent thereby continuing to lift almost 50% of our children and then try to take that to 100% of the children in this country lifted out of poverty. Yes, we would be making a policy choice that would be helping real people instead of helping the billionaires. I'm old enough to remember in 1965 when Medicare was enacted and Social Security was expanded, there was a policy choice to end or reduce poverty among the elderly. And guess what? It did. We had a dramatic drop in elderly poverty. And that was a decision. We did it. A boom. Uh, why can't we do that for children? Why can't we do that for vulnerable people in our society right now? You use the, the words chaos and mayhem in politics. Uh, is it really chaos and mayhem? Yes, Doc. And I'm trying my best to keep this PG Otherwise, I would use some other colorful <laughs> language to describe what is happening in I'm our laughing. country right I, now. It's not, fun. it's not funny. I, I'm laughing <laughs> yeah. because I no. get so frustrated and you get so I frustrated. Know. We uh, do. But, uh, but, but tell us, why aren't politicians doing what they should be doing? It, it really comes down to intestinal fortitude. You're asking the question, why not? I want to add to that question, whose side are they on? And clearly, we can determine the side that politicians are on by what they value, by what they're pushing for, what they're fighting for, what they're willing to sacrifice even their very seat for. A lot of people are angry. You know that. You see it every day. I see it all the time. And they have a right to be angry. They're angry because they feel like the game is rigged against them, and it is rigged against them. What do you think about the rigging of politics, and what can we do about it? We need campaign finance reform. It is rigged. And, Doc, I'm mad as hell, too. I'm right with the folks that are mad. You know, I had a boss who once said, if your hair is on fire, you ought to act like your hair is on fire. You don't sit cool, calm, and collected if your hair is on fire. Everybody in the womb will know that your hair is on fire. And that is what we are doing, people like you and others. We are sounding the alarm that our collective hair is on fire. It is untenable. And we just can't sit here and let it happen. And every time promises are made to people in this country and those promises are not fulfilled, it just chips away at any hope that they have for being able to live a good life and any hope that they have that the system will work in their favor. And the people who believe in keeping the status quo, they like it like this. They want people to be frustrated. They want people to lose so much hope that they opt out and they don't participate. You know, just to even use canceling student debt as one example, you know, I met a woman who's 74 years old and she said to me, Senator Turner, don't forget about me. Because a lot of people think about student debt and they think the youngest but I am here to report memo to all folks that canceling student debt will have a impact on people, a multi-generation of folks. But just think about that, Doc. A 74-year-old woman saying to me, don't forget about us. I'm still carrying student debt. There's something obscene about that to me. <laughs> 